Hey guys, I got another round of books for you to look at. Um, they, they're pretty affordable and they'll definitely go up in value over time. These are your top 10 comics to buy to improve your comic book collection. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments and please hit that like button. Let's go. Hey guys, so starting off with number 10, we have Daredevil, number 120. Uh, it's just a classic cover. Uh, it's the first appearance of El Jaguar, which in English means the Jaguar. And uh, it's classic Black Widow, Daredevil. Um, and a first appearance, of course. I really like the cover, though. I picked it up myself, of course. That's part of this whole show here. Uh, this book is probably in about a near mint minus condition, and I would say you're looking at about starting, if you're trying to find this book, about 15 bucks. So, might be a little addition that you might like to add to your collection. Let's move to number nine. At number nine, we have Defenders number six. Now, there's a multiple reasons why I like this book. Um, the Silver Surfer, of course, is appearing in here. Um, and it's the uh, first appearance of Cirrus Black. And it's just one of those classic covers um, that I really like to have. First appearance could have some significance, but the, the key here is books that are going to keep going up in value over time. This one's in about a fine condition, which is a 6-0. I would say this one also starts at about 15 bucks, uh, and it just kind of goes up from there. Let's go to the next one. At number eight, we have Avengers, number 133. I, I love the cover art, first of all. I, I really, truly, I love hunting covers. But there's also keys to this book. Uh, I believe it's the origin of Mantis, Vision, and the whole Kree scroll war thing. There's a first appearance in here, too. Um, but these should be not too hard to find. The key here is in high grade. So very fine to near mint is this copy. And again, we're looking at about 15 bucks um, starting. What do we have next? At number seven, we have Incredible Hulk number 134. I, Whenever I see Hulks from this time period, uh, I always try to pick them up. Um, hopefully they're in a higher grade. Uh, but they're just, the, the covers are classic. This is a cameo appearance of Gollum. Um, I would say in a fine minus condition, you're looking again at around a $15 price tag to start. Um, but the Hulks get me every time. I love the art. Honestly, I used to have the whole run and I sold it years ago. And I'm kicking myself ever since. And honestly, uh, it happens to most collectors. They have that same type of horror story. <laughs> so let's move on. At number six, we have Thor number 200. Uh, of course, it's a 200th issue. Um, but so Thor didn't start at one, number one, but it's the 200th issue and of Thor itself. Uh, but what's so great about this one, besides the cover, it's the Ragnarok. So remember the movie Ragnarok? So it's that whole storyline, the end of the world. And the cover is absolutely gorgeous. Um, another book in about the $15 range to start in fine condition. Um, of course, the higher you go, the more expensive it is. But I absolutely love this cover. It's a number 200, classic Loki, Thor, Ragnarok. You can't go wrong. Let's move on. Coming in at number five, another Hulk issue, number 121. I love this cover with the glob. First appearance and death of the glob, unfortunately, but it's just another classic Hulk cover. This one's in about a very good defined condition. I would say another book that's in the $15 range um, and one of those covers that you can't pass up. Like I said before, I love Hulk. What's next? 
Okay, things are starting to heat up a bit. Uh, we have Strange Tales number 157. Uh, these covers are incredible. Uh, cameo appearance of the Living Tribunal. Um, and I think this, this might be one of the keepers today for me. The one that I keep for 100% in my collection. Of course, I always offer up all these books, depending, in my auctions every two weeks. But there's always some that I like to keep, and this is one of them. I love Strange Tales. I absolutely love it. And that cover is gorgeous. Storenko, you can't go wrong. You just can't. Okay, what do we got left? I think we're going to our top three now. Okay, here's at number three. It, you know, this is another one of those books that I want to keep because of how dope the cover is. But I believe it's 182 and 183 Thor uh, that deal with the Doctor Doom storyline. Um, of course, that's it, Doctor Doom, but he's removing his mask, right? And he's revealing himself to Thor. Um, it, I, I, I love the color, and I love the cover, too. It's incredible art. I'm going to have a hard time... I might have to keep this one, too, just because it's so nice. Um, but this one's in about a fine to very fine condition. And you're looking to start at about 20 bucks, um, especially when you have stuff like this. They, this will always go up, but the implications for, you know, the Mar Marvel movies is that this is kind of the next step with Thor or with uh, Doctor Doom. So let's get to number two. At number two, we have Giant Size Avengers number one. I think that getting any Giant Size book, whatever it is, uh, is a good thing. Um, these were like 70s, I believe. Um, and this one's just a great one to have. There's a lot of stuff going on in this book. Uh, you know, Second Appearance of Invaders for sure. And you can see them there. Um, there's a first appearance in there. There's some deaths in there. These can get pretty pricey depending, um, but I would say this one's in a VF Plus. The only issue is there's a little bit of a corner chomp on this. Everything else on this book was pretty nice. So you're looking at starting around 20 bucks for something like this. But I love those giant size uh, comics, and there's always something going on in those that has some relevance, some key factor to it. And of course, these will always go up. So let's get to the number one for this week's top comics to buy to improve your collection. Okay, at number one this week for my pickups was Fantastic Four number 38. Now, depending on the grade, you guys, they're going to be expensive. Uh, the lower grade, of course, you can still get a good deal. But, you know, honestly, they're not easy to find in high grade anymore unless you're purely buying them in high grade online. Uh, it's the second appearance of the Frightful Four and of Medusa, uh, but it's the first appearance of Pace Pop Pete. Um, I just love the classic cover, and old FF is incredible, especially, they, they will always go up, okay? Um, and with movie stuff, they're going to even go up even higher. But this one's probably a 3.5 to 4.0, which is a very good minus to very good, somewhere in that area. You're looking at a price point to begin at around $30. So that's it. Which ones do you guys like? I know this video was all Marvel pretty much. Oh, yeah, it was. So I'll try to do an all DC one. But these are just the books that I got this week uh, when I went out shopping. Okay? So any one of these would be great for your collection. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave me a comment, like it, and let me know. Uh, that's it for this week. So I hope you guys enjoyed and improve your collection, guys. All right, take care.